a model. This guy, I'm not sure, Alex Newman, he's saying that the China is a techno something for the new regime. I'm going to go further. you got to go back further to the rank and file documentary, Legacy of a Radical. It's not China that started this. It's Vancouver. It's Expo 86. It's Expo 86, the World Expo, and and the um, and uh, what happened after that up to 89 in anticipation of 1997. You guys have got it all wrong. Uh, this guy's a good guy, but the uh, this documentary, uh, you should see the preview. You should actually just see the friggin' documentary. And I'm going to tell you something. China didn't come up with this idea of the New World Order. China was just following orders. China is was on bicycles. First of all, it was the biggest China was on bicycles, okay? It was a very small What the fuck do they know? Uh, and very well they just wanted to, 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 to start fresh after 1966 and 1949. Who, also, they were told by the Skull and Bones to kill off their own ancestors and the four olds, the four old things, by the white people. I mean, I hate to call it white, but the, look at as you know, the other side of False Creek. Here's a good guy. There's Vancouver. Area. False Creek. And the objective of that land Listen is to that this. after Expo, it is to be turned into a housing development. And I think that is the simple issue. And I don't want to overly simplify it because there's a fellow that does that already. I just want to, I just want to lay out the parameters for 1984. you to say that this is government-owned land. And you know when you say government-owned land, you're the government. And when you say that, you can apply all the social applications that you want to that concept. If you believe that it is better to have people who are handicapped living in this area and young families whose income is maybe fifteen or sixteen hundred dollars a month living in this area, or you want them to be exclusive areas for very rich people, it's those kind of issues that we're talking about. What does it mean to have a person, a single parent with a couple of kids in a beautiful setting like this? or in some grubby basement suite. What is the cost of a delinquent? What is the cost of jail for somebody whose environment has been ruined because nobody cares about them? What are all those costs that we're talking about? We think, in COPE, that those costs are minimized in this kind of housing and maximized in ghettos with high densities and with no facilities. Basic housing for people is a fundamental that they cannot do without. The rank and file legacy of a radical. I'm going to tell you something. This this is found footage, just like the you know the alone in the wilderness was footage. Was the this is campaign that 1986 had. footage, and there it's mixed in with today's uh, like interviews. Well uh, the basic frame and uh, what's really terrifying is how different everything looks from 1986 to now, or, or a city for people um, whose interest came And from. how Harry Rankin, yeah, you know, watch the these people on the bikes. Look at those great. people on the bikes. Do you see a helmet there? Do you see a helmet there? Those are ten speeds. Whatever yeah, happened yeah, to ten speeds? We were all riding like this. Okay, this was 1986. Okay. Short shorts, proper haircuts, no no helmets. So look, if you don't go back to Vancouver Expo '86, you're not gonna grok this whole fucking thing. How this is poison the entire world, because Vancouver is the Pacific Rim opening up. Vancouver, you could call it the Trojan horse. But these people, the Gordon Campbells, if you watch this documentary, they won't tell you what I'm telling you, but they'll tell you, you'll come to your own conclusions. I came to mine, because I lived there, through it, as a teenager, as a skeptical teenager. You know how teenagers are, right? They're like, what the hell's this? But as a Christian, we thought the world was going to come to an end, so we didn't, you know, we, we were all told that Jesus was coming and the rapture was coming or the world would be coming to an end in a fiery conclusion. But it didn't happen that way. We're all just, uh, uh, it didn't happen that way, and it's actually worse than how the Bible describes it. 
to be honest. I'd rather see people in bright colors, like these red shorts. Then every uh, when you see a crowd now, you want you want to like um, gouge your eyeballs out. It's eyeball gouging time. Watch this documentary. Think about Vancouver Expo '86. Think about the whole coast of California. These are desirable places, but it's for the developers. Harry Rankin was uh, served a honey pot during his run for mayor in Vancouver, and he was going through a divorce. It's the same process that they go through. The Freemasons or whoever decided to put in, they wanted Vancouver to be sophisticated. You'll see this in this documentary. They didn't want the folksiness of Harry Rankin. They wanted a, a modern, sophisticated uh, Vancouver to open up to the world, and yes, they opened up to Hollywood. All the filming came up to Hollywood, to Vancouver to save some money uh, for those fucking filmmakers. You'll see that it explains grunge and, and everything and the Walmart system and the, the, the rich against the poor and how t China was simply taken off their bikes. They didn't mastermind this shit. They were taken off their bikes to, make, to be made into capital makers, money makers, and communists because they, like the, they don't give a shit about politics, these, the, these people. But what they care about is, wow, these Chinese pay cash to escape. Just like the Hong Kongers, but see the Hong again the Hong Kongers speak Cantonese. The Hong Kongers and the Chinese mainlanders are totally different people because they have a totally different experience. When you have a different experience, you're a different human being. And there are some experiences that are absolutely incomparable. They do not cross the board. Some experiences do not cross the board, and some do. You're going to have to figure out which one's which. <laughs>